and the last step is to run the list and test for successes. Now this whole video series has been based around GSA because I think it's the most versatile link building tool there is. You have to be a bit more clever about the strategy these days but it definitely still works and as I showed you before what's so great about this is that there are so many different CMS already programmed in you can just import a list in and run it. So when you have your list and you've treated it with a sieve filter or you've used a scrape box you'll have a huge URL list and then you right click a GSA template and then import target URLs and then from file and then select the file containing all the URLs you've used and then an option will come up to ask you if you want to randomize list and I highly suggest you do that. The other way of importing URLs is actually to use the advanced options and then import and identify into platforms but don't do this for your new raw list. I've tested this side by side, there's, there's another video I have where I've tested this approach versus the right click import target URLs approach and importing target URLs on the project level and then running the project until completion that is the fastest way to get your links uh, working for you and to verify that they actually do work or not. A couple of options you should be aware of when you do a large scrape make sure you have this option here continuously try to post to a site even if it's failed before now that might sound like a bad thing because uh, it sounds like you're trying to hammer a website over and over and over again but actually what this is doing is overriding that already passed message uh, sometimes you'll get an already passed message in the in the window here it can be quite annoying when you have a, a huge list and it's stopping you from trying to post the same domain more than once when actually you're looking for verified URLs to post to and not just domains so you know if you have a hundred thousand URLs and only 1000 domains then you can only get a thousand links so that's not very useful at all so you want to make sure you have this checked so you actually test each and every single individual URL you have on your list which is what I did with this example list that I've made in this video series and scrolling down further Oh, I should, I should also say just ignore these settings, this is a template project, I just don't want to share uh, a real project on YouTube. But take note to leave this on when you're testing raw list and also you can use this option here, allow posting to the same site again. And I'd ramp this up as well, I'd put this at zero because you can post immediately, or maybe five if you want to do that, and then leave these all quite high because if you're using GSA on a huge raw list and you're going to be running it for a few days uh, to make sure that you've tested the list properly. This bit should go without saying if you're testing a raw list don't send it to a money site directly. Not a good idea. Don't do it because you could end up with 67,000 links and also if you're using just one project for GSA to test a, a raw list then the chances are that the amount of content you have loaded into the project is not enough to make a hundred thousand unique submissions and in fact most tools like Concept Machine and that they only allow you to submit a couple of thousand unique submissions you know never test a raw list on, on a money site even as a tier 2 you want to make sure that the tier 1 it's linking to is fairly large what I did in my example is that I used these tier 1 links and I sent the raw list to those tier 1 but I wasn't actually expecting to get this many successes so really I would have used a much bigger tier 1 if I had known um, how many successes I was going to get before running the list. I know I've only covered part 6 very quickly but it's kind of beyond the scope to detail everything I do with GSA in this set of videos but hopefully those few tips have been useful. As I said there's nothing more frustrating than, than having a, a huge list and then only trying to post to 5% of it because you've got your options wrong so make sure you have that right. And the next step for me is to go back into my verified list and just start picking off these different CMS one by one. A good way to do it is just sort by size and then just pick the biggest one that's got most verified URLs and you can work all the way down them, run every single one of them through Footprint Factory, build your lists, export that into your scraper and then just find gigantic lists and also with Footprint Scraper obviously you know you'd never find these footprints manually if you were checking individual sites so Footprint Factory really does take all the work out of it for you makes it really simple and also making these comprehensive lists that actually get you much better results that can result in 8% verified rates from a raw list. Alright then good luck, cheers for watching.